Well, Blake has uh, not a lot of energy when we just talk to him right now. He sounds like he's very defeated. Um, he's he's bummed out. He hasn't heard back from uh, Tammy. Right. Um, he said he went, he took her to J. Alexander's, which is go. a super nice place. Um, so they kind of just talked about everything, you know, like on a first date. There's so much to, to talk about. But I asked him, is there anything crazy that happened? Anything right. obvious? And he said no. And yeah. I just he just wants to know why she's not calling him back because he really liked her. Yeah, I'm not totally sure that he would know if anything happened or not. Just by the way we talked to him, he just seemed a little aloof. But we'll we'll. see if we can find out. All right. Um, All right. We got Tammy on hold right now. Kevin's got her standing by. Let's bring her on. Hey, Tammy. Yeah, hi. Hey, Tammy, I know you talked to Kevin. Uh, You kind of know what's going on right here. We wanted to ask you about this, uh, about Blake. Uh, Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay, look, I'm just not interested and going out with him again. Like, I don't know what kind of, like, radio stunt, like, weird thing this is, but, like, I'm just not... We're actually I'm not, not interested. interested. I don't want to be part of any sort of, like, stunt joke thing, and I'm just done, and... Okay. I'm just not gonna... Okay. Yeah. okay. Totally fine. It, would it be okay to ask you why you're not you're not interested in him? Can we just ask that question? Like, he's just, like, a con man, basically. Really? Well, How so? Well, I, okay, like, I get why, you know, like, people need multiple jobs. Like, I totally understand that, right? Um, but he's got this job where he's he explains finance on a podcast. Oh, he's like and, a financial podcast? Yeah, I guess. But, like, it's a finance podcast. And he doesn't know anything about finance. He talk, He read some books or something. Like Dave Ramsey? Like, those type of things that we're talking about? I have no idea. All I know is that what he was saying just sounded like total BS, and it was so bizarre, and I was like, I'm out. So it's like he's claiming to know all this stuff about money and really doesn't know anything about money? Nothing. I mean, I I barely know anything, and I knew that the stuff he was saying was wrong. Well, here's the deal, Um, Tammy. uh, We actually have Blake on the phone with us. I got to ask him what you just said. I mean, that's a very interesting comment right there. Uh, Blake? Yeah, hi. Uh, First of all, so do you work in finance? Uh, I, I don't work in finance. I actually have a podcast about finance well we got that part but what do you do for work uh i'm a trainer okay a trainer did, did you go to school for yeah. like accounting or something like that do you have like or? a co-host who's a finance person or no i mean I, I you know i watch all the shows about finance it's you know it's not like i'm not getting my info from from good sources you know I've, a lot of my clients are in finance um you know i, t- I talk to them about it you know, I feel like I get a lot of really good information. Okay, it's it. you're giving people advice and you're telling people what to do. Like, people can lose money because of stuff you say. What are you talking about? Especially now, like, this economy and you're telling, like, you're telling people what to do. It's so weird. I just... Do you do these tips with your own, like, personal finances? I mean, not all of them. Some. <laughs> <laughs> you see I mean, kind of how that's a conflict of interest a little bit there? You're just, like, passing someone else's ideas on as your own? No, I mean, people, you know, I, I put a lot of ideas out there, and people can decide for themselves, you know, which ones are beneficial and which ones aren't. Do you do this podcast just for fun, or do you are you getting paid to do this? I mean, I'm just trying to figure out if, if, if someone was trying to sponsor your podcast, if they listened to it for a second, if they were, like, a financial... I, I, yeah, I mean, I am. I'm making uh, a little money on it, so good it's you. good, you know, for for the extra money. And uh, you know, I've had sponsors like re- reach out to me and stuff. So wow, yeah. Well, Tammy, uh, you made it very clear at the beginning that you did not want to go back out yeah, with him. I don't even. Yeah, I don't know what to believe. Anything that comes out of his mouth, and honestly, like this has just made it weirder. Wait. I'm just like, what I can't, Wait. I can't. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen, guys. Uh, I think it's very interesting uh, that you're doing this, and um, but I would, you know, caution you to be careful, you know, giving out this advice. But then again, a lot of people give out a lot of advice all the time. Um, Do the people on your sure. podcast know you're a trainer at a gym? Uh, I mean, I don't really talk about my personal life, but you do give out personal financial advice. All right. Well, listen, here's the deal. Uh, We got some answers for you, Blake and Tammy. Thank you for your time. I wish you both luck, okay? Yeah. Hey, can I plug my podcast real quick? No, no, no. Actually, no. Uh, (laughs) We we, we don't do that. But, hey, man, appreciate you coming on. You have a great day, okay? Okay. All right. See ya. Thanks, Tammy. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. See ya. Yeah, I don't... (sighs) Well, know. listen, here's the deal. It'd be one thing if he said, I'm just telling him what I would do in this circumstance. I'm just telling them what, you know, in my personal or what's worked for me. That would be one thing. And you preface it that way. But for him to say, 
well, no, I don't really use all this advice. I just kind of give it out. That's where it becomes a little bit sketchy. And that's where if you're looking at somebody on a first date like Tammy is, she's looking at this guy going, okay, so you're dishonest with people or you're just like throwing things out there with the risk of people thinking that you know it all. I mean, you don't, you're not prefacing it by saying, hey, I'm not a professional. You're not prefacing, prefacing saying this is stuff that I've read in books. That's, that, that's where it becomes a little bit sketchy for me. And I would kind of be like, dude, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, but that's that's like me watching a a, a car show on right. on television and be and then starting a podcast saying, "Hey guys, I'm going to tell you how to rev up your engine or right. change your spark plugs or whatever." I don't know anything about that, but I, I can't get on a podcast and just tell people what to do. But I guess you can. Yeah, well, there's nobody <laughs> fact checking that, but that, yeah, that's what, where it gets where, a little where, sketchy. Is anybody fact checking these people that are doing all the podcasts? Yeah, well, no. as soon as you said, you know, I would teach you how to rev up your engine. I think people would know this might not be the podcast for me.